Good morning, everybody. It is the middle of the week, Wednesday, April 27th. Um, had a really nice time yesterday. Went over uh, and spent uh, the late morning uh, at John Gillitan, uh, his house. Um, John is a great keyboard player and a writer and producer. Engineer. He, he does everything. Um, he toured with James Taylor for a number of years and then became Linda Ronstadt's musical director. And we've been friends forever. And uh, so he was, he's working on a project with a Japanese artist named Takaro. And uh, I went over and did a, uh, put bass on a couple of tracks uh, on an album that they're doing. It was fun for me because it was, and actually for John, because we, a number of years ago, we also worked with a, another Japanese artist named Takaro Yoshida. Um, so this is our second Takaro. Um, <clears throat> but I was thinking about music and I was thinking, you know, David Cassidy the other day, boy, the lineage goes back to the Partridge family. And I was thinking, hmm, what else can I go down that road with? And then I went, oh, Maureen McCormick, how about some Brady Bunch today? I did an album with uh, Maureen called When You Get a Little Lonely in 1995 that was produced by Barry Coffing. And um, it was great. She's, she's really, really good. She was, you know, pursuing um, country music way back then in 95. And um, we had a great time. We ended up doing a video for this song. I have not been able to locate the video yet. Somebody has written to me and said, oh, I saw a video with you and Maureen McCormick. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and uh, and play the song uh, for you. It's a great band on this on this thing. It's myself on bass, Mike Botts, who I just featured just a, a little while back on drums, the great Albert Lee on guitar, J.D. Manis on steel, and Jim Cox on piano keyboards. Uh, I'll be heading out this summer with Jim Cox. On he'll be part of Lyle Lovett's large band. Um, got to tour with Albert Lee last year. Um, and the background vocalists on this are Wendy Waldman and the wonderful Kenny Edwards. Um, and the song was written by Josh Leo, Kenny, uh, Josh Leo, Nicolette Larson, and Wendy Waldman. You know, the hard part of all this, once again, looking at this stuff, and I see Mike Botts is no longer with us. Kenny Edwards is no longer with us. Nicolette Larson is no longer with us. I mean, it gets harder and harder all the time. Uh, to do these and seeing all the people's names who are uh, no longer with us. But uh, they are with us forever because of the music they contributed. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and play this song for you. And um, it's a, this was the title track to the album, When You Get a Little Lonely. So here we go. Hey, hey, my heart is on fire with a flame that never stops burning. If you want to try, we can go a little higher. You know that you're going to call me when you get a little lonely.
Oh, How many please. race car drivers do you know that have gene? Oh, please give me a break. Right in the middle of the song. Sorry, I'm going to play it again. This is really BS. I've, uh, I've got to... I've got to jump into premium again. I did it at one point and I was still getting ads on here, but this is really getting stupid at this point. Hey, hey, my heart is on fire with a flame that never stops burning. If you want to try, we can go a little higher. You know that you're going to call me when you get a little lonely. things is when people end up on a show like the Brady Bunch and things like that, th nobody ever wants to take them seriously when they want to pursue other things. And they, a lot of people have had other interests in their lives. And then suddenly like a TV show takes off and that's where they get their first notoriety from. But um, I mean, I listen to that and I go, that's as good as any country music that's out there at this point. And she sings great. Um, she had a lot of energy. 
you know, so um, I was glad that she got to, to do this, you know, and she had an opportunity to make it, make an album. There's a couple of others like that too, that I'll, um, I'll, I'll visit um, from some other shows that really were good artists. Um, and it's just a matter of when one thing takes off, then that's what everybody equates them to. And people just somehow don't want to accept the fact that the person can be good in other areas. You know, like Bernie Williams when I did Bernie, and here he is like this incredible, you know, New York Yankee baseball player, yet he's a fantastic composer, guitarist. Um, so I was really, it was really fun to work with uh, Maureen. I, I'd love to track down that video. I, I looked a bunch yesterday and could not find it. So, but uh, we had a good time doing it. So I'm going to make this a quickie today. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff to take care of, so I figure I'm going to get running here. Um, just wanted to share Maureen McCormick with you. So again, that's when you get a little lonely from 1995 and, uh, <laughs> up early watching the news, boy, it is, uh, it is amazing how many countries now are sending armaments into Ukraine, wanting basically to see, um, Russia defeated in this, which is so important anyhow, but boy, it's, it's like this whole focus now it's becoming very laser-like about getting, you know, armaments and stuff in there to help these people fight this incredible battle that they've been in that everybody would have given them up for gone, you know, the first week, and yet they are still a tenacious, tenacious country. And um, I'm hopeful that the, this can end sooner than later for all the people that are being uh, dying and injured and, and just so lost in this thing and uh you know out here at least in california numbers are creeping up again on covid we've got <clears throat> the vice president just got covid you know i mean it's not bad if you've got all your shots and everything it's it's an inconvenience more than anything at this point but still you know it's not gone so people stop acting like oh it's all over now we can go back to doing whatever we did before but it, it's not going to work so be be cognizant of this and let's get all those hardworking people off the front lines at some point so they can get back to the relative normalcy of, of their jobs and not have to have, you know, all of this looming all the time. So I'm going to get going you know, give a shout out to all those people, though, and um, I will see you tomorrow. OK, take good care. Have a wonderful day, though. OK, bye bye.